put them in the oven real quick. They can't possibly be putting something into the oven right now. No way. So you can throw it in the wood fired oven for 30 seconds. Oh, God. We got three minutes. Yeah. I'm thinking about doing like a Korean spice yeah. with the lamb. So maybe okay. Korean chili paste. Yes. I grab gochujang. It's spicy, sweet, but it's also subtle. And I love anything that is fermented. That's going to add a whole nother dimension to my dish. Normally, you need like a little acidity. Okay. With that, but let's taste it and we'll kind of figure it out yeah. from, from there. Okay. Well, let's talk it out. What are you trying to do? I am thinking of doing a lasagna cupcake. How many ways can you make lasagna? I don't know everything, but I do have a few tricks up my sleeve. <laughs> Let's do a spicy meat sauce, but not too, too much. I hear you. To make this dish stand out to the judges, I also wanted to make it a spicy lasagna. I didn't want it to be boring. You want to add some actual chilies in there? Yeah. I want that sauce to pack so much flavor, a small bite to pack a big punch. Do you want to do fresh pasta or dry pasta? Let's roll with the fresh pasta. All right. Fresh pasta has a way better texture and consistency and mouthfeel, especially with a heavier sauce. I think it'll be very complimentary. I got my glasses fogging up. <laughs> Hot in this kitchen. All right, I'm gonna get the sauce. I love using Korean flavors when I cook. This is my personal twist, adding the Korean chili paste. So it's very important to get that flavor built up slowly, but at the same time fast, because that clock is ticking. Can you taste that sauce? Yeah. Let me know we need. I think it's really good. Really? Okay, good. Yeah, we gotta hurry up. Chef, it's okay if I go ahead and put that pasta in there right it now? It is definitely okay. Go All ahead. Right. All right. Okay, are we ready to put the lamb inside there? Scoop it in, and I just wanna put a little cheese inside there. But we do want it cheesy. We'll make an awesome sauce. 15 minutes! We gotta get to that oven. Did we check on those? I just put it in about three minutes ago. It should be still gone. I'm starting to worry that my noodles will not boil in time. Come on. You cannot have lasagna without pasta. It's just no way. Oh, God. Whoa, 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 whoa. I literally only have less than 10 minutes to roll these lasagna rolls up, pop them in the oven, let the cheese melt, then put it on the plate. How are you doing over there? Hey, that, that clock's some serious. <laughs> I need to get done cooking so all of these judges can taste my excellent sauce. Is that a plate? I'm unclear. Hard to tell, kind of. Hopefully, they're not building. They might be, they, they might be building. I think they are. All right, cool. Roll, roll, roll. This is so messy. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. So do four, three more. Okay. We'll put them in the oven real quick. They can't possibly be putting something into the oven right now. No way. So you can throw it in the wood-fired oven for 30 seconds. Oh, God. We got three minutes. Stephanie, yep. can you chop up the parsley you want to put on top? Yep. Oh, I see, I see oh, cheesy, cheesy melty cheese cheesy. Yeah. How's that cheese looking? Is it getting where we need it to be? Here we are, yep. 60 seconds. What is happening over there? I am on the edge of my seat. Ooh, oh, make sure it don't gosh. fall apart. Oh, gosh. Something's going out of plate over there. Cool. I have literal goosebumps right now for both these teams. I'll add a little bit of the sauce and hit it with the cheese. Yes. A little bit more Parmesan, Parmesan, Parmesan. I think it looks really great. If I had my phone, I'd take an Instagram. Three, two, one. Woo. Hands up, time's up. Oh, God. Kayla, tell us about what you made. I made for you a lasagna with a spicy tomato sauce with ground pork, ground beef, mozzarella, ricotta, and Parmesan cheese. There's a little bit of white wine in there as well. What spices did you use in here? I use red chili flakes, oregano, and basil as well. Mm. I like the mixture of the two different types of meat. That was really nice, but it doesn't seem so deconstructed to me, right? It kind of feels like a lasagna just rolled up. Right. But it is delicious. Originally, it was supposed to be um, a lasagna cupcake almost. You, know, you cook it inside of a muffin tin, so it kind of mimics a cupcake. And that was going to be my deconstructed dish. But I saw that clock, <laughs> and I said, Eric, 
We're gonna have to roll this thing up because it is no way it's gonna happen. But it's a good lasagna, it's tasty. That's the right amount of spice in Italian food. It should accent everything else in the dish, but not overpower everything. Antoine. Yes. <laughs> Tell us what you made. Yes, uh, I call this just in the nick of time, <laughs> Korean. <laughs> We've heard that one before. <laughs> just in the nick of time, Korean lasagna roll. Chef Chuan. Yes. <laughs> Do you feel like you got enough flavor into this dish? I was trying to keep it subtle where it wasn't too overpowering with the lamb, but I didn't want to overpower the meat too much. The heat, like, it builds, yes. it builds, yes. but it's warming where it's not below my palate out, it works nicely wow. with the lamb. Lamb fat is a super, super distinct flavor. Yes. So whenever you're adding that in with something else, you have to be super cognizant of that. And the goat you gave plays so well with that. The funk from the fermented with a little bit of the gaminess of the lamb, I love that combo together. However this thing goes, yes. people are gonna see us here. Yes, right. They're gonna say, that's that guy's yeah, yeah, yeah. I make that dish. They were good, they said it was good. So hey, let's make it. You're gonna be the coolest one in the school. Oh, oh yeah. mm -hmm. that is very true. <laughs> well, I think we have our decision. Sounds like it. All right, let's get them out here.